Hello and welcome to a support video to assist team captains entering rubber results through the British Tennis Tournament software website. From the front screen, the first step is to log in using the login and password that were sent to you by your league organiser. On the top right hand corner, click on login and proceed to enter the login name and password. If you have any problems logging in, please contact your league organiser who can assist you. Once you have successfully logged in, you will be able to see all active tournaments that your club are involved in. Click on your club name next to the relevant event for which you wish to enter a result. The next screen will show all team matches that your club are actively involved in within that competition. In this example I'm entering a men's first team fixture so find the correct match and click on the modify button to the right hand side of that match. This will show the overview of the match. Check all the details are correct and if you're ready to input the results click on enter Robert results. The next screen will show the form you will need to complete. For the first match of the season, no player names will be available from the drop down boxes. So you will need to hover over the team name and select add player. This will bring up a pop up box where you'll be able to search for players within your club through the online player database. The online player database is linked to the LTA player database. You can search by player name, or in this example, by British Tennis membership number in order to find the players who competed for your team on the day. Complete this process for all players that competed on the day. Once you have added all of your players, you can click on the X at the top of the pop-up. The next stage will be to complete this process for your opposition on the day. One feature we would like to point out is the ability to tick all clubs if a player cannot be found within that club. In this example I found the player in another club and I'm able to add them to the list of players. The next step is to select the players who competed in each rubber. Referring to your match scorecard, select the player names from the drop down boxes select the winning team for each rubber and proceed to enter the rubber scores in the correct order from left to right in line with your league rules. Repeat this process for all rubbers played on the day ensuring player names and scores are completed accurately. Once you have completed this process make all relevant checks once again checking against your match scorecard to ensure player names, winners and scores are entered correctly. This cannot be edited once you have submitted the form. If you are happy, click on save. You will now be able to review results. From the add comment button, you can let your league organiser know of any information you would like to make them aware of, such as the names of any unknown players that may have been selected. Click on your division name at the top to look at updated league standings to share with your team. If you are not using the online player database, you will need to follow a manual process for adding each player to your team. So below your team name, using the same add player button, a pop-up will appear and you will need to select the add new player tab and proceed to enter the British Tennis membership number, first name, last name and gender of each player, clicking on the add button each time. Once you have added all players, click on close and you'll be able to select your players in order from the drop down box that you've just added. If a team has already played a match in the competition, player names will already be populated. So a copy team composition function is on offer to save time in entering results. This will copy player names from previous matches played. The players have been populated and I've got some minor amends to make in that my number 3 and number 4 players played in a different order. Now that all players have been added, 
I can continue to enter the rubber results, selecting the winning team and inputting the correct rubber score for each rubber. In this example, the rubber results have now been completed. The match score can be seen as level. So in this league, from the shootout winner dropdown, I select the winning team to allocate an extra point to the winners and click on save in the bottom right hand corner to complete the process.